I'm stuck! What? No! No! I'm turning to stone! Why? Help! 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 Oh no! Snow White had become a statue from head to toe! She didn't even know what you and I know! That the old woman had really been... Hi there! It's time for Storytime at Cool School! I'm Miss Booksy! Today we're reading Snow White! Chapter 1, here we go! Wiggle, snap, story time! Well, that's my nickname. My real name is Margaret Katrine Simone Anna von Kluster Stadenstank. Yeah, so most people just called her Snow White, and pretty much everyone agreed that Snow White was the coolest girl around. She was funny. And then I said, that's not a yo-yo, it's a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> she was smart. A-N-I-S-M. And that's how you spell anti-disestablishmentarianism. And best of all, she was kind to every creature on Earth. Oh, that is so nice. She was even kind to her stepmother, Katrine Francesca Karina Amelia Anastasia von Kleschberg-Dottenstonk. But you can call her the Evil Queen for sure. As you might guess, the Evil Queen was not nice at all. It's like she only cares about herself. Yes, that was the problem. The Queen did not care for anyone other than herself and she cared for herself way too much. She even traveled all the way to Grim Forest, where the witches live, just to buy a magic mirror that would tell her how great she was. Oh, that's so not cool. This one is real nice. It'll tell you how wonderful you are. Error, error. Oh! Never mind, that one's no good. Okay, now this magic mirror is top of the line. You're gonna love it. Honestly? I'm getting some mean vibes from you. Ugh, next. Uh, okay, uh, this one. This is a great magic mirror. Go ahead, ask it. Excuse me, Mr. Mirror. No, 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 no. You gotta say mirror, mirror on the wall. It likes that. All right. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most amazing person of all? You are my queen. You are the most amazing person of all. You're the best. Aha! I'll take it. Oh man, Snow White's stepmother loved that mirror. She would ask it like a dozen times a day if she was still the most amazing person in all the land. Will you pass the gravy, please? Hold on, hold on. Mirror, mirror on the wall. It's your turn. Yes, yes, one moment. Mirror, mirror on the wall. This again? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who I'm trying to sleep! So yeah, the mirror was pretty annoying. The queen loved giving Snow White chores, as evil queens tend to do. So one day she was cleaning the evil queen's bedroom. She was just about finished when she noticed some schmutz on the magic mirror. I'm definitely not allowed to touch the mirror, but she did say the room had better be spotless. I'd hate to make her mad. Snow White reached out to dust the mirror and... <gasps> it's you! What? You are the most amazing person in the land! Why, thank you, but don't say that. The queen will get, like, really mad. Ugh, she is so mean. But I can see that you have a good heart. <laughs> are you actually just an x-ray machine? <laughs> no, I mean you have a good soul. Aw, that's so sweet. The queen has a rotten soul, by the way. Well, thanks for the compliment, but you really must keep telling her that she's the best. It's dangerous to make her mad. Promise? Okay. Long story short, the mirror did not keep his promise for long. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the most amazing person of all? You, my lady, are an amazing person. Of all? Yeah, sure, of all. Say it then, say the whole thing. Uh, I meant to say that you, my queen, are the most amazing person of all? Good, just checking. Uh... What was that? Nothing, nothing, nothing. It sounded like something. It's just that Snow White may be more amazing. But the queen didn't scream or break things, and she didn't cry. She was just very quiet. That's not good, kids. When the evil queen gets quiet, it means she's really, 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 really mad. And like Snow White said, that can be very dangerous. This is kind of spooky. Let's keep reading. Chapter two, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Yep, she looks pretty mad. 
I will get rid of Snow White. That sounds bad. Poor Snow White, she didn't do anything. Yeah, I was just minding my own business. The evil queen tried all kinds of different ways to get rid of the princess. She locked me out. Oh, she tried to mail me to Alaska. She even tried to send me away in a hot air balloon. Wow, that is so mean. You might be wondering why my dad didn't step in and do anything. Well, he was away on king business at the semi-annual royal symposium. That's where natural born kings and queens go to learn royal stuff, like how to balance giant crowns on their heads and how to wave at a parade. So I was on my own. The queen was getting frustrated. She couldn't get rid of Snow White. She finally decided to go back to the witches of the Grim Forest. Surely they could get the job done. Oh, it's you again. Welcome back. I need a curse to get rid of a princess. Oh, goody. I just love those curses. What do you need? A hundred years sleep? Make her lose her singing voice? Ooh, maybe we turn her into a frog. I just want her to go away forever. Ooh, I see. A one-way ticket. Exactly. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. Well, my sister is a travel agent. We can send her to China. I was thinking something a little more permanent. Okay, okay. Well, how about a classic deatomizer? What is that? I don't know, but it sounds cool, right? Can't you just do something, I don't know, witchy? Oh, sure, that's easy. Here's what you need. A bubbling cauldron, a rose, Ouch! watch out for the thorns, the tooth of a shark, eee! a rotten egg, gross, a picture of Santa Claus, um, random, and a lock of Snow White's hair. And check. Mix it all together and say these words. Mecca like a ding dong, cherry chicken ping pong, Snow White, why don't you just disappear already? Mecca like a ding dong, cherry chicken ping pong, Snow White, why don't you just disappear already? And just like that, Snow White disappeared. Didn't think it would work, did you? Yeah, neither did I. Oh no, I hope she's okay. But here's the thing, boys and girls. People don't really disappear. They just appear somewhere else. And that's what happened to Snow White. She appeared in another fairy tale. Whoa, where am I? This isn't our kingdom. Hey, I think that's Cinderella. How'd I get into her storyline? Oh, maybe her fairy godmother can help me get home. Did somebody say fairy godmother? I did. Do you want to go to the ball too? I can let you go. But you can't win the heart of the prince. I already promised that to my goddaughter, Cinderella. That's okay, I don't need a prince. I just want to go home. Oh, gotcha. And with a wave of her wand, Cinderella's fairy godmother sends Snow White back home. Whoa. Yay, magic to the rescue. And at the very same moment, the evil queen was asking the magic mirror if she was the most amazing person in all the land. Uh, no, it's still Snow White. What? I got rid of her. It should be me. This is awkward. Oh, I'll get her. And this time, I'll make sure she never comes back. I've got a wicked good plan. <laughs> I think you have something in your teeth. Oh, be quiet. Uh-oh, she better watch out. Let's keep reading. Chapter three, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The evil queen had just discovered that Snow White was back and she was not happy. For revenge, she gave Snow White an endless list of chores to do. I had to clip her toenails. Ugh. I had to brush her cat's teeth. And as always, I had to clean her room, which she had left super messy on purpose. I mean, really, who leaves a half a meatloaf under the bed? Gross. Wow, that is so mean. Hey there, how's it going? Oh, <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> Sorry, I hope the queen's not being too mean. She's a real piece of work. Yeah, you think deep down maybe she's actually nice? Uh, I don't think so. She's pretty bad. I bet she was a really nice kid. And then something terrible happened, like a wizard cast a spell on her that made her bad. Not exactly. Or 
Or maybe she was attacked by a two-headed fire-breathing dragon and she just hasn't been the same since. Or, or, or maybe she was tricked by a boy who said he was a charming prince but then he turned out to be a scaly lizard. And ever since then, she's just too sad to be nice. Um, nope, I don't think so. Surely she hasn't always been evil. I'm an all-knowing mirror. Trust me, she's been bad since day one. That is so not cool. She drew angry, frowny faces on all her sister's dolls. She cut her brother's hair, and not in a good way. She scribbled all over her family photos. She even put mustard in her mom's shampoo bottle. Yes, indeed. She is one bad apple. Well, if she's always been bad, then how come my dad wanted to marry her? She tricked him. Before your soon-to-be stepmother moved to town, she paid a little visit to the witches in the Grim Forest. Welcome to ye old witchcraft and novelty shop. What can I do for ya? I want to be queen. Hmm, I don't have any crowns, but I could sell you this t-shirt that says, I'm the queen, gotta love me. <gasps> That's it! I need to make the king fall in love with me. I need a potion, a love potion. Ooh, good idea. The witch sold her a magic love potion that would make a guy fall totally head over heels in love with her. Whoa, I'm totally head over heels in love with you. Will you marry me? Oh, now I get it. Unfortunately, that was my dad. And that's how she became the queen, and worst of all, my stepmother. Even back then, she didn't like me. Ugh. Seriously, who doesn't like babies? Hey, do you think the spell could be broken? That would take some very serious magic. Even the witches of the Grim Forest have trouble reversing spells. Wait, she's coming. How do you know? How many times do I have to tell you? I'm an all-knowing mirror. I know everything. Did I hear you talking to someone? Yeah, um, I, 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 I talk to myself when I'm cleaning. <laughs> really? What about? Well, I was just talking to myself about the weather. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful day, isn't it? Oh, I, I guess so. Now get back to work. Whew, that was a close one. That was close. Yeah, if she catches me talking to you, she'll lose it. <gasps> Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh is right, kids. The evil queen was listening at the door. Total fake out. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Tomorrow I'm sending you to the Grim Forest to return this defective mirror. I'm sure you'll both have a lovely time. Hmm, that sounds suspicious. Let's keep reading. Chapter four, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Wake up. What time is it? It's time to go to the Grim Forest. <laughs> he is the mirror. What happened to it? It's all smashed. See, I told you it was defective. See ya. She'll find her way into the forest, but she'll never find her way out. <laughs> what? No, that can't be. Okay, this is only extremely very scary. No big deal. <laughs> I wish the queen hadn't busted the mirror. He would be good company about now. Ugh, and these directions. Walk backwards down the dragon's path? Make a left at the gargoyles. A backwards left or a frontwards left? It's that way. Thanks. Then turn around three times at the troll's bridge. Hey there, my sweet. Ah, this is scary. I'm not your sweet, you troll. Sorry, I don't get out much. Then hop on one foot. Why? Hop on one foot past the Wicked War's warehouse. And so the wishes shop should be? Yoo-hoo, right here. You looking for me? Yeah, how'd you know? Oh, just witch's intuition. That means I'm a really good guesser. Come inside. So my stepmom wants to return this mirror. Oh, this mirror is very smart. Top of the line. Or at least it was. 
Yeah, I think the queen had a temper tantrum. <laughs> I remember her. Ugh, she's a doozy. Tell me about it. <laughs> this mirror was perfect for her. He knows when to tell a little white lie. Oh, like telling her she's the most amazing in the land? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a fib if I ever heard one. Hey, think we could just fix the mirror? I was starting to like him and I have a feeling I'm gonna need his all-knowing powers. <laughs> all-knowing is good. We'll just put a new face on him, new frame, and boom, looks brand new. <gasps> That's amazing. Awesome. Need anything else? Snake tooth, lucky pigtail, lotto tickets? Actually, can you reverse a love spell? No way, I don't mess with love spells anymore. Legal reasons. Snow White said goodbye to the witch and began her journey out of the Grim Forest. Why, hello there. Hi. <laughs> Maybe the Grim Forest isn't so bad. Okay, so to get back, I just have to reverse the directions. Hey, where's the Wicked Wart's warehouse? Or the Troll Bridge? It's getting dark and I'm lost. Wait. I know, the mirror will know how to get out. Um, hello, Mr. Mirror? Where's the on switch? Snow White tried everything she could think of to get the mirror to work. She tried voice command. Mirror, activate. She tried shaking it. She tried smacking it. Finally, she tried yelling at no one in particular. Why? Um, excuse me, ma'am. Sorry, didn't mean to frighten you. Are you okay? I'm lost, and it's dark, and this mirror is supposed to know everything, and it won't turn on. And I'm hungry, and I'm scared, and... Who are you? I'm the professor. You must be smart. Do you know the way out of this forest? I need to get back to my kingdom. Yep, follow me. Okay. The professor led Snow White out of the Grim Forest, past the Wicked Wart's warehouse, the Troll Bridge, the Gargoyles, the Dragon's Path, all the way to where Snow White had began. Thank you so much, Professor. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope to see you again one day. Aw, that is so nice. I don't know if I'll be going back into the Grim Forest anytime soon, but <laughs> if I do, I'll look for ya. They said their goodbyes, and Snow White went inside the palace to give her stepmother the mirror. You're back? I mean, um, you're, you're back. How lovely. And I brought you a new mirror. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it on, though. It needs batteries. Duh. Oh. <laughs> well, good night. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most amazing person of all? You better say me. It's you, my queen. Hmm, you sound the same as my old mirror, the one I destroyed. All magic mirrors have this voice now. It's factory issue. Don't worry, my queen. That old mirror is history. Did you just wink? Uh, no, just something in my eye. Kids, what do you think is going to happen next? Let's keep reading. Chapter 5, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The queen was not happy with Snow White's return. Hi, I'm Snow White, and I'm so cool. Blech, it's time to get rid of her once and for all. Uh-oh, she better watch out. Uh-oh. What did you say? I said uh-oh because, um, I haven't told you how awesome you look today, have I? Silly me, you look good, girlfriend. Oh, thank you. There you go, Mr. Squirrel. Keep the cast on for six weeks and don't get it wet. <laughs> He's totally gonna get it wet. Hey there, Snow White. Let's pause for a second. That was Chef Huntsman. A lot of people just called him the Huntsman because he was actually the official hunter for the king. Okay, let's continue with the story. Hi, Chef. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> oh, you know, just hanging out. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, let's pause again. Snow White had a little bit of a crush on the Huntsman. Oh, so cute. What? He's really nice, and he taught me all kinds of wilderness survival skills. He taught me how to call a turkey. Hello, can I please speak to Mr. Turkey? No, like this. And how to make s'mores. Are they done yet? Are they done yet? Are they done yet? He even taught me what to do if I encountered an angry fire-breathing dragon. 
Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? It's you, it's you, oh. Anyway, what I mean is he's just cool, <laughs> whatever. So, how's it going? Oh, wait, I already asked you that, didn't I? Yoo-hoo, huntsman boy, I need to speak to you. Okay, your highness, be right there. No, now. I mean, please. <laughs> you better go. She's been super testy lately. Okay, see you later. See ya. <laughs> huntsman boy, I need you to do a job for me. Sure, your highness. I need you to take Snow White out. On a date? A date with her? Ugh, you have no taste. No, I need you to take Snow White deep into the forest and sell her to the wizard. I don't get it. There's nothing to get. You take her into the woods, you sell her to the weird wizard who will turn her into a frog or something, and then you bring me the money. Oh no. Why do you want the wizard to turn her into a frog? I don't care if it's a frog or a rock or a bobblehead toy. I just want her gone! I don't think I can do this. It's not nice. Ugh. If you don't do it, I will. And trust me, that's much worse for pretty little Snow White. Why? She's so sweet. That's exactly why. Now run along. You have work to do. This is bad. I mean, you look rad. The huntsman was very upset. He went down to sit by the koi pond. That's where he liked to do his serious thinking. I really like Snow White. I couldn't do anything to hurt her. What am I supposed to do? What would you do if you were there? Meanwhile, Snow White went upstairs to do her chores and talked to her friend, the mirror. Hey, how are ya? The queen is making the huntsman take you out. On a date? No! Out in the forest where he's gonna sell you to the wizard! The wizard? He turns people into frogs! Wait, Chef Huntsman would never do that to me. The queen said if he doesn't, she'll do worse. I think you should run away from the kingdom. This is my home! I'm the princess! It's not safe for you here. You'll find happiness in the forest. Trust me! Snow White knew the mirror wouldn't lie to her, so she went to her room to pack all her prized possessions. Why won't you fit? <sighs> You're probably better off here anyway, Teddy. I'll miss you. And I'll miss you too, Lamb. <laughs> and I'll miss you, dollhouse with a real elevator and a tiny ice cream machine. <gasps> and you, my beautiful dresses. <sighs> I'm gonna miss being a princess, but I will be brave. And I will go out into the forest and I will survive. One day, I will return. Not as a princess, but as a queen. Snap, girl. That was fierce. And so Snow White set off to find the huntsmen and begin their journey. She was ready for her new adventure. Ooh, this is so exciting. Let's keep reading. Chapter six, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Snow White and the huntsmen set off for their journey into the grim forest. It was a little awkward for a few reasons. One, she totally knew he was supposed to sell her to the wizard. Two, he didn't know that she knew that he was supposed to sell her to the wizard. And he was nervous. And three, they were always a little awkward around each other anyway because that's just how it is sometimes. When you kind of like somebody and you hope they like you back. So, uh, the sky is blue. Uh, uh I mean, a uh, nice day, right? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect day for a stroll. Yeah, just a nice stroll through a spooky forest. Well, that was weird. Look. I know the queen told you to get rid of me. You do? I won't sell you to the wizard, I promise. Psh, like I was gonna let you. What are we gonna do? I packed some basic survival items. Jerky, trail mix, water, jelly beans, first aid kit, oh, and I packed a teeny tiny teddy bear. <laughs> I couldn't get the big one to fit in my bag. I can't just leave you out here. I'll be okay. You taught me all kinds of survival skills. Why don't I stay here with you? Are you nuts? If you stay, then the queen will come looking for both of us. Yeah, that would be bad. I'll be all right. The queen's magic mirror told me so. Come visit me sometime? Of course. Here, take my camping toolkit. It's got all kinds of handy stuff, even fingernail clippers. Oh yeah, I guess there's no place for a Manny Petty out here. Whatever, <laughs> I'll be fine. I better go. Don't want to make the queen mad. See ya, Snow White. 
See ya, Shep Huntsman. And that's how Snow White began her first day as a non-princess, stranded in the woods with a small teddy bear and a pair of fingernail clippers. Well, I better start setting up camp. As Snow White began to work on her new dwelling, the huntsman practiced his spiel for the queen. It had to be perfect. Why, yes, your highness. I definitely sold Snow White to the wizard. He said he'd turn her into a frog in no time. Yes, ma'am. I sold her for... Oh, no! If I sold the princess, then I should have money. I don't have any money. How are they ever going to get out of this one? The huntsman checked his pockets for loose change. Nope. He looked in his sock. Nada. He checked his fanny pack where he kept important things like his Phillips head screwdriver and chewing gum. Zip. Zilch. Zero. Wait, I know. To the koi pond. That's where I toss in my coins and make wishes. I wish I could get a puppy. I wish I could fly. I wish I could grow a mustache. I wish I had a hundred wishes. There must be like a million dollars in there by now. Hey, I never did get that puppy or that mustache. That's it. I'm taking my wishes back. Meanwhile, in Grim Forest, Snow White had just finished setting up her new, um, apartment? Perfect. It's shabby chic. <laughs> oh man. Okay, third time's a charm. Excuse me, Snow White? Professor, boy am I glad to see you. What are you doing here? I live here now. <laughs> We're neighbors. Great, there goes the neighborhood. Who's your friend? That's Sassy McSassy Pants. That's your name? I love it. <laughs> OMG, I love it. My real name is Sasper. It's short for exasperation. No, it isn't. Snow White, you can't live out here like this. Oh, sure I can. I'm not a princess anymore. I'm just a regular girl. Regular girls don't live under a pile of sticks in Grim Forest. Come on, you're moving in with us. No. Hush, Sasper. Oh, I shouldn't intrude. No, she shouldn't. Nonsense. Let's go. Snow White grabbed her bag and followed the professor and Sasper to their little cottage in the woods. She was so excited. I've never had roommates before. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Back at the kingdom, the huntsman had just gathered enough coins and was off to see the queen. Your majesty. Why are you all wet? Uh, it's raining. Uh, in the woods. It was raining in the woods. Anyway, here's your money. You sold Snow White to the wizard? Yup. He said he was definitely going to turn her into a frog. A frog? Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. You'll never see Snow White again. Well, you might see her as a frog, but it would be hard to tell it's her. Unless maybe she's wearing little yellow frog pants or something. How cute! Now please leave. Okay, your highness. See you later. Now, Muir, tell me, who is the most awesome and wonderful and dazzling person in all the land? Why, it's you, my queen. Obviously. Who else would it be? Snow White? Please, give me a break. As if. Psst. Okay, that's enough. Don't overdo it. <laughs> that was so funny. That night, everyone went to bed feeling pretty happy. The huntsman was glad he didn't have to sell Snow White to the bad wizard. The queen felt confident that she was the best thing since sliced bread. And Snow White was excited to start this new chapter in her life with her new cool roommates. I'm going to need a bigger bed. Wow, this is so fun. Let's keep reading. Chapter 7, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Good morning. Good morning. How long have you guys been there? Not long. You drool when you sleep. We're just so excited. We've never had a princess for a roommate, or any roommate at all, except for all of us, of course. And we used to have a dog. Does that count? I think so. Do you want breakfast? Snacky made pancakes. They're shaped like animals. They're the best. You're so perky for so early in the morning. <laughs> What's your name? Kitty. Cute. You fell asleep as soon as you walked in the door yesterday. They didn't get a chance to introduce themselves. I was pooped. <laughs> Leaving your kingdom and roughing it in the woods is exhausting. <laughs> okay, let's do names. Of course, I know you, Professor. <laughs> and now you know me and Sassy. I'm Snacky. He's the one who makes the pancakes. I'm the one who makes everything around here. Any favorite foods? Yes. I like corn on the cob, and white cheddar cheese puffs, and snow cones, and club sandwiches. Oh, hold the mayo, though. <laughs> Got it. I'm sloppy. I see. <laughs> I'm clumsy. 
That's just my nickname, though. I'm actually quite graceful. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> Those dwarves are so funny. Is that everyone? Don't forget me! I'm Tony! Hi! <laughs> well, I'm pleased to meet all of you. So, what do you guys do for fun around here? We work. What? Work's no fun. Unless you get to work in an amusement park. <laughs> That's probably fun. We work in the mines! Oh, diamond mines? No, salt. Oh, and you have fun doing that? Sure, everything's fun when you're with your best pals. What do you do for fun? I dance and sing and go to parties and play with all my animal friends and read and get in snowball fights and fly kites and ride bikes and... Well, yeah, just to name a few. <laughs> but I'll totally go to work in the mines with you guys. I'm no freeloader. You're much too big to go into the mines. Well, I'll work here then. <laughs> I can clean. I used to clean my stepmother's room all the time. We're not very messy. <laughs> Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Right. <laughs> I'm also pretty good at sewing. <gasps> I can make you guys matching outfits. That would be amazing! Well, then let me at least make some new curtains. There's a lot of bad feng shui around here. Finally, it was settled that Snow White would spruce up the cottage in exchange for free room and board. She did other little things too, like cut their hair and make a new chef's hat for Snacky. Oh, and she changed all the light bulbs, which was a huge help. Snow White kept so busy that she didn't even have time to miss home. Actually, speaking of home, the evil queen was having a ball without Snow White around. She brought the mirror with her everywhere and showed everyone how it would say that she was the most awesome person in all the land. Ask the mirror if you're the most awesome person. Okay, okay, I'll ask. Mirror, mirror, in my hand, who's the most awesome person in the land? Is it this guy? No. Is it her? Wow, that is so mean. It's you, queen. You are so awesome. Pretty rude, though, if you ask me. Hear that? I'm the most awesome person in the land. Three cheers for me. Oh, yay. Let's have a party in my honor. And I'll save my first dance for you, Mr. Huntsman. I, uh, actually can't. I'm busy. Busy? Too busy to attend a party of the Queen? What are you doing that's so important? I, uh, have to wash my hair. Yeah, that's it. Okay, bye. The queen knew he was telling her a lie, but she didn't know why. She watched the huntsman from her window as he walked out of the palace and straight toward... Grim Forest? Suspicious. I'll have to follow him and find out what he's up to. Uh-oh. He better watch out. Dun, dun, dun! What was that? Nothing. The queen followed the huntsman into the woods. Who's there? What was that? Is someone there? Finally, they stopped. Hey there. Snow White! Oh no, this doesn't look good. Let's keep reading. Chapter 8, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The queen watched as Snow White and the huntsman talked and laughed. That rotten huntsman was supposed to get rid of her! He was supposed to take her to the wicked wizard and have her turned into a frog! How hard is that? Oh no, I hope they'll be okay. Well, thanks for stopping by. Sure thing. Need anything special for next time? Yes, Snacky asked if you could bring him some marshmallows and graham crackers. We're gonna make s'mores. Awesome, we will do. Bye, Snow White. Bye, Chef! And please be careful. If the Queen finds out, she'll be very angry and we're done for! Yes, that would be bad, wouldn't it, Princess? The Queen rushed over to the witch's shop and barged right in. Hey, ever hear a knocking? This is an emergency! I need something! Something evil! Yeah, all right. The next day, Snow White had just finished her chores when a little old woman popped out of nowhere and said, you my lady! I'm but a poor peddler woman selling shoes door to door! Shoes? Oh, I don't have much money. They're on sale! They're so pretty and just your size! You deserve a treat! Well, I guess I could just take a look. 
try them on. These are beautiful. I don't think I can afford them. No, they're free. <laughs> free? Why? Hmm, that sounds suspicious. Snow White started to go after the old woman to insist on paying her, only to realize I'm stuck. What? No, no, I'm turning to stone. Why? Help, help, help. Oh no, Snow White had become a statue from head to toe. She didn't even know what you and I know, that the old woman had really been the evil queen. Goodbye forever, Snow White. <laughs> That can't be. The queen went back to her kingdom, happy to be rid of Snow White. She marched straight towards the magic mirror. Question, why did you say I was the most awesome person in all the land when we both know you favor Snow White? But Snow White is gone, my queen. She is now. But since you're such a wise, all-knowing mirror, you must have known she's been in the grim forest all this time. Oh, see? When you said in all the land, I thought you meant around here, like in this kingdom. I didn't know you were counting grim forest. My bad. Well, it doesn't matter. She's gone forever this time, and you better watch your back. Ooh. The evil queen was also quite angry with the huntsman. She put him in jail and threw away the key. Wait, I didn't have dinner yet. Oh man. Meanwhile, back at Grim Forest, the dwarves were just coming back from work. What's that? Looks like a statue. It looks like Snow White. Cool. I want a statue that looks like me. Snow White, Snow White, come out here. There's a statue and it looks just like you. Wait, I think this is Snow White. It must be an evil curse from that evil queen. She's so evil. The dwarves were so upset, they didn't know how to reverse a curse, and they didn't know whether Snow White could think or feel in there, or if she truly was made of stone. What if she's scared? What if she gets cold? We have to move her inside. Those dwarves are so helpful. The dwarves tried with all their might, but they couldn't move Snow White. Professor, do you know any ways to reverse a spell? Well, let's see. Maybe she could kiss a frog. Here. <laughs> Why do you have a frog in your pocket? Why not? Okay, let's reverse this spell. Maybe say some magic words. Alakazam, abracadabra, Kalamazoo. What's you? It's no use. We don't know magic. We could go to a witch. But the witches live in the scary part of the forest. We'll just have to be brave. Yes, we have to save our friend. The professor and Giddy set off to find a witch to reverse the spell, while the rest of the gang stood watch to guard and protect Snow White. <gasps> Shoo, go away. What if we can't reverse the spell and Snow White is a statue forever? Don't worry, Tiny, we'll have a happy ending. I just know it. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's keep reading. Chapter nine, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Professor and Giddy were on their way to find a way to save their friend Snow White, bravely trekking through the grim forest. Ah! 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 Okay, well, at least they were trying to be brave. But hey, at least they were willing to face their fears and help a friend, right? <laughs> that was hilarious. The two finally found what they were looking for. Ye old magic shop. Hello, hi, ding, 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 ding. Ah! I mean, hello, I'm Giddy. Good for you. And I'm the professor. We need to reverse an evil spell. What kind of spell? Our friend was turned to stone. That worked? Wow. Uh, all right, I mean, uh, let's see what I have in the antidote department. That means stuff that undoes bad stuff. But you're a professor, so you probably already knew that. Yes, I did. I didn't. I love learning new words. Ah, here we are. Now we just toss it in the cauldron and... While Giddy, Professor, and the Witch mixed up the antidote, or stuff that undoes bad stuff, the evil queen was back at her castle, thinking, which is never a good thing. Snow White's turned to stone, but why don't I feel any better? I should be glowing, relaxed, happy. Mirror, do I look happy to you? Uh, you look, yeah. Look at that smile. No, this is no good. How do I know some dingbat isn't gonna stumble along and reverse the spell? I'm sure it's fine. Nope, I'm going back to take the statue. Oh no.
the evil queen strikes again. Wake up, guys! It's time to save Snow White! We have the antsy goat! That means stuff that undoes bad stuff! Right, Professor? Something like that, but yes! Guys, we can reverse the spell! Wait! Where's Snow White? Snow White! Snow White, where are you? Guys, she's a statue. She can't answer you. Oh, right! Statues can't talk! I got it! Snow White, blink twice if you can hear us! Gee, great plan. Well, if you had been guarding her, she wouldn't be lost. Me? I wasn't the only one. What about you? Oh, pretty please stop fighting. I don't like it. Giddy's right. We have to work together. It's no use. She's either been stolen. Statue net. Or maybe she came back to life and she left. No, she wouldn't just leave like that. I bet the evil queen took her. Of course. Well, we have to go find her. I love it! Okay, team name. How about the seven cool dudes? Blech. I'll consider that a yes. It was official. The seven cool dudes were on their way to save Snow White. Ooh, this is so exciting. Let's keep reading. Chapter 10, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Well, there's the castle. Now what? We storm the gates and find Snow White. Wait, there's Snow White now. I have the witch's antidote. We'll just go up and turn her back to her old self. Hey, Professor, over here. Hey, it's the Huntsman. Why are you in jail? The queen locked me up for trying to help Snow White. I don't know what you're planning to do, but be careful. Uh-oh, we came to help Snow White. Huh? I thought Snow White was with you guys. She's here? Um... Oh, that's just a statue. The queen put it there to torment me. Actually, we think that's the real Snow White. No! We're not sure, but we think so. But we have a potion from a witch that could change your back. Well, what are you standing here talking to me for? Go save Snow White. But the huntsman said that just a wee bit too loudly, and yep, you guessed it. Suddenly, there was the evil queen standing right between the dwarves and Snow White. Uh-oh, they better watch out. Save Snow White? Never! We will save her! Aw, you seem so upset. How sad would you be if I smashed that statue into a thousand pieces? No! no! Watch me! Okay, guys, it's time to fight back. But I'm a leopard, not a fighter! Today, we're all fighters. Now let's get that evil queen. The dwarves grabbed the queen's legs and stopped her in her tracks. Get off me! Get off! Not until Snow White lives and you're gone forever! The queen tried to move forward, but it was no use. But then she spotted the witch's spell-reversing potion in the professor's hand. Give me that! No way! Got it! <laughs> now get off me! Then the professor had an idea. You want us to let go of you? Yes! Let go! Okay! Let go, guys! But luck would have it that the evil queen dropped the antidote and it fell right smack dab on Snow White's head. Whew, that was a close one. It doesn't work! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> What's everybody crying about? And why are all these pigeons on me? Shoot, birds, shoot! Snow White, you're alive! Of course I'm alive, why wouldn't I be? But wait, why am I back at the castle? And Shep, why are you in jail? The evil queen put me here. No. Where is she? Over there. Owie. I'm confused. It's a long story. I'll tell it. I love long stories. I'm all ears. But first, we got to do two things. Let's bust Shep out of jail and put that bad apple in his place. Yeah. No. Sorry. Majority rules. Evil queen drools. <laughs> that rhymed. Yeah. Once the evil queen was locked away in jail, Shep, the dwarves, and Snow White all kicked back and relaxed, happy as could be. Wait, no, there was one thing missing. Snow White, my darling daughter. Dad, that's right. Remember back in chapter two when I told you that Snow White's dad was away at the semi-annual royal symposium? You know, the place where kings and queens go to learn royal stuff. Well, he was back. Yay, I'm so happy. Dad, I missed you. Where's the queen? Long story. Oh, yippee! Let me tell it. I love long stories. 
Now how's that for a happy ending? Wow, that was so much fun. I just love happy endings. Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome to Sweets Cafe. He always has the best stories and he's an amazing chef. I can't wait to hear what he's gonna tell us about today. The tale of Cinderella and the royal meatballs. The tasting will now begin. Nice texture, excellent aroma. <laughs> You okay? Hurry, Sweets! Step on it! Hi, Sweets! Hi, Rosie! What have you got there? It's just the best cake pops Whoa. you've ever tasted in your entire life! Wow, they look sweet-licious! Can I taste one? Sure! Mmm, mm, you have to give me the recipe! Absolutely! What are you making? I'm cooking my famous meatballs. Another one down, only 499 left to go. That's a lot of meatballs. These aren't just your usual meatballs. These are spectacular sweet sauce royal meatballs. Royal meatballs? Yep, royal meatballs. Actually, it was Cinderella's recipe. Cinderella, Cinderella. Yup. Did you know it's because of these meatballs that she and the prince got married in the end? No, 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 no. <laughs> she and the prince got married thanks to the glass slippers that she wore at the ball. Glass slippers? When have you ever seen anyone wear glass slippers? I wore glass slippers once, and let me tell you, they were impossible to walk in. Never again. Okay, fine. This is gonna be good. Tell me the real story of Cinderella. Here we go. The tale of Cinderella and the royal meatballs. Pound the table, clap your hands, off we go to magic lands. Stir the batter, lick the spoon, hold on tight, we'll be there soon. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella who loved to cook. She kind of looks like me. Hmm, now that you mention it, she does look a little bit like you. Cinderella lived with her dad. And every night she made amazing meals for the two of them. Cinderella's dad was kind of sensitive. He would tear up at every little thing. Voila! Roasted casserole flambe stuffed with sweet potato fritters. You've outdone yourself again. <laughs> dad, are you crying again? It's just you're so beautiful and kind and I really love casserole. Now more than anything, Cinderella wanted to go to cooking school so she could learn to be a chef. So she sent letters to apply to every cooking class, culinary school, and apprenticeship in the kingdom. Meanwhile, Cinderella's dad was a little lonely. I'm a little lonely. So one day, he remarried. Cinderella thought that would be good news. Now she would have a new stepmother and two stepsisters to share her delicious dishes with. But she was wrong. What's your favorite type of cuisine? What kind of spices do you like? Ooh, do you prefer stainless steel or cast iron pots? What on earth are you talking about? Yeah, just go get some frozen spaghetti from the store and go put it in the microwave for us. Or get some TV dinners. Those are my favorites. Uh-oh, this is not going to be good. It wasn't good. Turns out they were the worst eaters in the world. Here, guys. I made some chicken nuggets like you asked for. Gimme! <laughs> Ew! Oh, I baked them instead of fried. Much healthier. Then I infused them with some truffle oil and sweet pepper sauce. Cinderella, start over and follow the directions on the box. They were so mean. And worse, they put ketchup on their carrots. Please be patient. Not everybody has as refined a palate as you do. At least people at culinary school will appreciate my food. One day, Cinderella's father had to go away on a business trip. I'm not going to cry because I'm going to miss you. Here, Dad. I made you a casserole for the trip. Now I'm going to cry. I love casserole. Don't worry, Cinderella. It'll just be a couple of weeks. You'll have fun with your new sisters. I love you. Let's go, children, inside to play. Cinderella, you do all the chores. All right. The next morning, some mail arrived. 
Howdy, miss. Lots of good news in the mail today. Looks like your daughter got accepted into all these fancy cooking schools. Congratulations! Let me know if she opens a restaurant someday. I'll be first in- Ouch! Line! Too bad, Cinderella. There's just too much work to be done at home for you to be going to some silly cooking school. I can't believe the evil stepmother would do something like that. It's so... Evil? That's the exact word I was looking for. Yup, but listen, something exciting is about to happen. Wait a minute. What's this? An invitation to the Royal Ball. Ah! OMG! OMG! Girls! Get out of here! The prince is having a competition to see who can make the tastiest meatballs in the entire kingdom. And the winner will get a private dinner with the prince, who just happens to be single. Oh, wow! I'm going to win. No way! I am! Oh, Mother, did I get any responses to my applications to cooking school? I'm supposed to find out whether I got in soon. Oh, didn't you hear? The mailman hurt his finger, so he went on vacation. That's too bad. When will he come back? I think in seven years. Maybe more. Now excuse me while I get ready for the ball. Weeks went by, and eventually it was the night of the royal ball. My meatballs are almost done. Let me go change into my dress and we'll head out soon. Oh, Cinderella, you can't come. The house is a mess. I need you to stay home and wash the dishes. But I can clean later. This house is filthy. You need to vacuum and dust and reorganize all the furniture so the feng shui aligns. But... No buts. Get back to work. The feng shui won't align itself. This stinks! Now my meatballs are all burnt, and there are so many dishes to clean, and they're all having fun without me. I wish I had a fairy godmother to help me. I need some good luck! Did somebody say food truck? I actually said good luck, but okay. Wait, I know you! You're Sweets from Sweets Cafe! And you must be Cinderella! How do you know my name? I got your application in the mail. You applied to be my assistant chef and learn to cook. Oh yeah, I never heard back. Our mailman is sick. He's out for seven years. Well, sweetlicious news, I chose you. What? I got accepted? I can't believe it. Thank you. Since you never wrote back, I came to see what was wrong. My stepmother told me I never got any mail. She must have thrown it away. Sounds like you've got an evil stepmother on your hands. Yeah, I really need a fairy godmother. Well, think of me as a fairy god chef. Yes! Look at all these dirty dishes. Oh, that? No problemo. <laughs> High-powered industrial strength dishwasher. So strong, it's basically magic. Yay! Now that everything is clean, I can go to the ball. But all my meatballs got burnt. No problem. Let's cook a new batch together. First, you're going to need this. Wow! Now let's make some spectacular sweet sauce royal meatballs. Chef. You're welcome. Now I'll drive you to the royal ball. You should probably wear this mask so your stepmother and stepsisters don't recognize you. Good thinking. There's one more important thing. You need to leave by midnight. Why? The magic will run out? He'll turn into a pumpkin? No, you just need to make sure you're home before your stepmother gets back. I don't want to be blamed if you get grounded. Good luck in there, Cinderella. Remember, leave by midnight. Midnight, got it. Thanks, sweets. I'm so excited. Those spectacular sweet sauce royal meatballs look so good. They sure do. Okay, time to start working on my sweet, licious garlic bread. What? You can't stop now. It was just getting to the good part. <laughs> the royal contest was about to start. Yeah, that is a pretty good part of the story. Okay, here we go. So Cinderella had just arrived at the prince's royal ball where he was going to judge who made the finest meatballs in all the land. There he is, the prince. Hi there, hope you like it. I hope so too. The prince better like my meatball. I mean, I dropped it on the ground, but 
I cleaned it off pretty well before I put it back on his plate. Ta-da! Um, your meatballs are not balls. I want it to be creative. Our attention, everyone. The tasting will now begin. <laughs> hmm. Pretty adequate. Good texture, decent taste. Presentation could use improvement. Fine sauce. I give it a... A... Hmm. Hmm. I will give it a two, um, three, four. Definitely four. Four for a great effort. Is this a hair? Ew. This wins worst dish of the ball. Mom, I won an award. 8.1 out of 10. 3.14 out of 10. Nice try. Nice texture. Excellent aroma. Hmm. This is the best meatball I've eaten in my entire life. Who cooked this masterpiece? Me. That's it. We have a winner. Come on, everyone. Let's celebrate and have a ball. That was incredible. You're quite a chef. That's why I'm going to culinary school. One day, I'll open my own restaurant. Amazing. I'll be the first in line. In fact, I, I'd like to be your partner uh, in your restaurant. Really? That would be amazing. Oh no, midnight, I'm out of time. I've got to go. I'm so sorry. I loved meeting you. Wait. You okay? Hurry, sweet! Step on it! So tell me what happened. Did the prince like your meatballs? He loved them. I wish I could stay all night. She left her hat behind. I must find her. I really liked her amazing meatballs. And her. She doesn't end up with the prince? She's never going to become a famous chef? Hey, the story's not over yet. Don't worry. I wouldn't tell you a sad story, would I? I sure hope not. So let's find out what happened. I'm listening. What a night. Yeah, I can't believe I won an award. How could we have lost? Ouch! And who is that girl who won? I feel like I've seen her before. Ooh, the prince is making an announcement. And then after she left, I found her chef's hat which is why I will now travel the kingdom in search of this mystery chef. I know you're out there, and you deserve to be celebrated for your amazing culinary gifts and your amazing dance moves. And I still want to be your partner. Oh my, did you hear that? The prince doesn't know who the mystery girl was. So? So for all he knows, it could be one of you. When he comes to visit our house, you must convince him that it was one of you. What if it was me? You don't be ridiculous. Although, we do know that you're a so-called <coughs> good cook. Make some meatballs, Cinderella. And when the prince comes, my girls will pretend that they cooked them. Oh, okay. All right, girls, the prince is on his way. Now remember, when he tries to put on the chef's hat, make sure you squeeze your head into it. I don't think I can make my head skinnier. Make your head fit. Do you want to be a princess or not? Hey there. My fairy god chef senses were tingling. You need help? Yes, the prince is on his way right now. And I have to cook meatballs for my sisters to give him. Are you going to make them bad on purpose? Put in some chili powder? No, I couldn't bear to make a bad meal on purpose. Besides, if the prince is going to eat them, I would never want him to get sick on account of me. Good for you, Cinderella. I'm proud of you. If I can't have the prince, I can at least make sure he has a delicious meal. Can you help me make those perfectly delicious meatballs again? At your service. <gasps> He's here! Cinderella, give me those meatballs and then don't come out of the kitchen. Okay. So nice to see you again, Prince. It is I, your mystery chef. Me too. I'm also your mystery chef. Wow, I thought there was just one. Here, give me that hat. Uh, uh, ah, here we go. 
Let me try. My head's smaller. Mm, mm. Here, my two daughters prepared these meatballs that you love so much. These were them, the perfect meatballs. So it was one of you two. <laughs> yup, we're avid chefs. Real foodies. Really? Uh-oh. Whoops, sorry, it was an accident. What was that? Nothing, there's no one else here. <coughs> My throat is a little hoarse. Are you sure? Sounded like somebody is in the other room. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, well, if you two are such amazing chefs, I want to see your amazing kitchen. No, don't go in there. Stop. You look familiar. <gasps> it's you. It's me. You're the one who made the royal meatballs. You're the one who loved them. Um, I had a little help. Total team effort. She's an amazing chef, and she's going to my cooking school. Cinderella? You're the mystery girl. And you're working with a monkey? Hey, lady, did you throw out an acceptance letter to a cooking school that I sent Cinderella? And on an unrelated note, did you know that opening someone else's mail is a crime? Um, gotta go. Come on, girls. You won the competition. Do you know what that means? Um, you'll be my partner? Nothing would make me happier. Let's make our plans over dinner tonight. Cinderella? Dad? I missed you so much. <laughs> and so, Cinderella and the prince had a private dinner. And it was the first of many. Because after Cinderella finished cooking school, they opened a restaurant together and lived happily ever after. A happy ending. Happily ever after. Now, can I get another serving of meatballs, please? And make sure they're meatballs, not meat cubes. <laughs> One meatball dish coming your way. That was so much fun. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next story from Sweets. Bye. Every day with the sea captain was full of tall tales and excitement. And a row, ho, ho, and a bottle of brew. But then, one day, the sea captain got sick. So sick, in fact, that he couldn't get out of bed. So sick, he couldn't go on any new adventures. That's when he told me to open the trunk. He said there was something special in there. Ooh, some dirty socks. Hello? Ah! Ah! And what's this? Holy macaroni? It's the treasure map! Hi kids, I'm Miss Booksy and this is Storytime. Today we're reading Treasure Island. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Yo ho ho and a bottle of brew. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Will a parrot eat a cracker? I don't know, this is New England. Not a lot of parrots around here, do they? They do indeed, and I'm okay. Just give me a minute. Sure I can't give you a hand? Ah, uh, could ya? A hand would be great. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm okay, I just need a rest. And I've had quite a journey. Pirates, buried treasure, typhoons, sharks, etc., etc. Wow, that is so cool. Whoa, really? Yeah, Arr, and now I need a place to lie low. Hide out. Ooh, are you hiding from pirates? Yes, I am. Cool. Well, you can hide out here as long as you want. We got a bed and breakfast upstairs. Great. And could you hide my trunk? Back there ought to work just fine. Sure thing. It looks like a treasure chest. Yo ho ho and a bottle of cola. <sighs> and that's how I met the sea captain. After that, my life changed forever. Pretty soon, everybody in town was friends with the sea captain. For somebody who was hiding out, he sure did a lot of talking. He told all kinds of wild stories, like the time. Got my hand bitten off by a vicious barracuda. <laughs> hey! Ooh, that's gotta hurt. I fought off a shark with one hand. Not today, hammerhead. And then there was the sea captain's number one hit. The time I found Captain Flint's treasure map. I was on the run from Long John Silver. You know Long John Silver, right? No. Yes. He's got a peg leg and a hook hand and an eye patch. And thank goodness for that patch because his one eye is the evilest eye you ever saw. 
If he had two evil eyes, one look from him, and he'd strike you dead. Ooh. And get this, he even has a parrot that sits on his shoulder. Uh-oh, they better watch out. Okay, so back to the treasure map. Did you find the treasure? No, sadly, I never got the chance. Long John Silver chased me halfway around the globe trying to get that map. Is Long John Silver still chasing you? I reckon he is. If he ever shows up here well, old Jimmy's gonna give me the signal. Yeah, like this. <laughs> Arr, that's a good signal. And lickety split, I'll be gone. And then I'll go find the treasure. Gold, rubies, diamonds, you name it. Pearls? Yeah. Sapphires? For sure. Chocolate coins wrapped in gold foil? Probably. Wow. And a ro ho ho and a bottle of brew. La 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 la. Every day with the sea captain was full of tall tales and excitement. But then one day the sea captain got sick. So sick, in fact, that he couldn't get out of bed. So sick, he couldn't go on any new adventures. That's when he told me to open the trunk. He said there was something special in there. He said, When you find it, you'll know what to do. My time is up, little buccaneer. This is your story now. That is so sad. Ooh, some dirty socks. Hello? Ah! Ah! And what's this? Holy macaroni? It's the treasure map. Ooh, interesting. Let's read another story. Come on. Chapter two, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. A real treasure map? Wow, but to find a treasure map and have absolutely no idea what to do about it, well, that just doesn't feel so good. And as bad luck would have it, guess who showed up? Peg leg, hook hand, eye patch, evil eye, shoulder parrot? Squawk, Long John Silver's here. Squawk, make way for Long John Silver. Uh, watch out. Time for the signal. But then, I remembered that the sea captain was gone. This was my fight now. I had to be brave. Oh, hi, uh, what's up? Can I help you with something? Yes, I think you can. Has an old sea captain been through these parts? Perhaps dragging a trunk that looks like a treasure chest? A hook for a hand like this? Hmm, let me think, uh... Yeah, nope, that doesn't sound familiar. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go feed my cat. She's lying! She's lying! Liar, liar, pants on fire! What? No! <laughs> the sea captain. He has my treasure map. I want it back! Oh, right, 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 right. One moment. Whew, that was a close one. What's that say? Need help. I've got your back. Selena Garns, attorney at law. The shot. Hi, I need some help. Long story, but here goes. So I met the sea captain. I thought maybe he was a pirate, but he wasn't. He was just a regular sea captain, but he was running from a real pirate and a scary one named Long John Silver because he had a stolen treasure map. A treasure map, huh? That leads to real treasure? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Hmm. I can work with that. 10% of the cut plus expenses and I'm in. So Selena Barnes, attorney of law, helped me charter a boat. We found a boat captain and a crew. We even went shopping for some new pirate treasure hunting duds. Wow, this is so fun. And then we were off, sailing away from home and headed out into the great wide open, setting sail on our maiden voyage, heading down to the sunny tropics to get some treasure and... Oh, oh, oh. Apparently, now I'm seasick. Whew. Once I got my sea legs, I went for a little looky-loo around the boat. That's when I heard something interesting. Ooh, I think it's a whale, but not that. This, listen. So LJS is on his way. As soon as we get to Skeleton Island, we'll mutiny, and then we'll take the treasure. That sounds suspicious. Mutiny? That doesn't sound good. Wait, what does that mean? I better go ask the captain. But wait a second, who's LJS? It's not. Long John Silver says these guys don't know nothing about pirate stuff. They'll be total pushovers. 
Long, John, Silver. I should have known he was gonna chase after us. Uh-oh, this is not good. So off I went to find the captain. Captain! Captain Smallish! Captain! Hey, hey, Captain! Captain! Nah! Captain! Phew! I'm glad I found you. You gotta hear this. I overheard the other crew guys saying that Long John Silver, the pirate, is chasing us. And when we get to the island, they're going to mutiny and take the treasure. By the way, what does mutiny mean? It's when a ship's crew takes over and oust the captain. Cool, cool. What's oust mean? It means to get rid of. Generally speaking, it's not good. Right. Oh no. I hope they'll be okay. So what do we do? We play it cool. Okay. So like, wear sunglasses and say things like, Hey man, slap me fat. No, we act like nothing's amiss. We're outnumbered. If we fight them now, we're doomed. So we play it cool, but in the meantime, we'll make a plan. Okay, so the plan is to make a plan. I like it. And how close could Long John Silver be? He's probably way behind us. Or so we hoped. Arr! There they be! Onward ho! Giddy up, let's go! That treasure map will be mine in no time! Ha ha ha! Squawk! Giddy up! Giddy up! Ha ha ha! Whoa, that was scary. Let's go on another adventure! Come on! Chapter 3, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time! Ah, we're so close I can smell the treasure. All I smell is parrot dander and feet. Squawk! Parrot dander and feet! Squawk! Back on our ship, we were still hatching our plan. We had to figure out how to deal with the mutineers, aka the bad guys, on our ship. And we had to figure out how to deal with Long John Silver once he caught up with us. Hey, no one ever said treasure hunting would be easy. Okay, so when we land on the island, let's tell the bad guys we're gonna split up. Then we run and get the treasure, hop on the boat, and hightail it out of there. Ah! Hey, we're making lemonade. Y'all want some? No, thank you though. All righty. Woo, that was a close one. Okay, back to the plan. So we split up, but what if they follow us? What if they try to oust us before we even get to Skeleton Island? What if they make us walk the plank? We should be ready for battle at all times. <sighs> hey, what's up? Hey, sorry to interrupt. We're running low on toilet paper. Just wanted to give you a heads up. Okay, okay, good to know, thanks. Aye, aye. Weesh. I think this boat is too small for secrets. So what were we saying? Now let's not forget the other big threat. What if Long John Silver catches up with us at sea? They're sure to have all kinds of fighting things. Swords, bows and arrows, water balloons, cannons. Ah! Ah! Oh no, this doesn't look good. He's here, he's here, Long John Silver is here. <gasps> what are we gonna? You're gonna walk the plank if once Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, we're actually bad guys. <laughs> Check out all our swords and stuff. We're total baddies. Don't show them the secret sword stash. Oops, sorry. Um, so really, what's the plan now? We can sue them for damages and psychological distress. Or we could try to steer the ship out of the line of fire. Yeah, you do that. I'll think on how to get rid of these two. Whoa! They changed course! No fair! Just turn the cannons towards them! Um, Captain? Yes? It might be a little bit late for this, but... Take that, bad guy! <laughs> Land ho! Land ho! Land ho! Squawk! Ha! They crashed! Also look! We've reached Skeleton Island! Woohoo! I'm just gonna sail to the other side of the island before we disembark! Good thinking! I'd like to avoid Long John if we can! Um, but what about these guys? Oh, I almost forgot. Ah! Ah! Jump! Well, that was easy. You saved my life! Now she'll learn to do that. Guess I picked up a thing or two from the sea captain. Just need a little bit more practice. <laughs> So, cannon attacks aside, things were kinda looking up. Maybe we could land ho, get in, get out, grab the treasure, bing bang boom. Or maybe this pirate party was just getting started. Whoa, that was scary. Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter four, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. So, 
Let's see. According to this map, the treasure is... Um... Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just going north two stars over that way. Hmm. That way. Well, okay then. I guess a captain would have a good sense of direction. Uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. I think the map was upside down. Oh, no. I hope they'll be okay. Ah, a bug just landed on me. Ah! Shoo! Shoo! Shoo flies! You know what? I'm just going to hang by the ship. You know, keep watch. Make sure no bad guys take it. Good thinking. Ah! Snake! Where? There! Uh, I... I think they're everywhere. Wait, what's that sound? Sounds like a kookaburra. Really? I don't know. I've just always wanted to say kookaburra. Any luck with that map, Captain? I think we go that way. Or not. Sinking sand. I bet you this is a booby trap set to keep us away from the treasure. Classic pirates, Jeff. That must mean we're close. Cool. Let's go. Uh, Captain? <laughs> oh no. This doesn't look good. Don't move. Oh, good boy. Yep. Just sniff and move along. Nothing to see here. <laughs> That's it. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Take that, pirates! Okay, let's go. Yeah. Booby traps won't work on us. <laughs> Oof, that's gotta hurt. Ow! Oh. Ow! I think maybe let's try another direction this time. Roger that. But then, as soon as we changed direction, we heard this. Ah! Ah! Food! Food! Huh? Food! Food! They think he wants food. Oh, I, uh, I got some cookies. Oh, that was scrumptious. Well, that was weird. Please do pardon my behavior before I was simply ravenous. I've been living off grubs and worms. For how long? Oh, I've lost track of time. I guess it's been about three years, four months, two weeks, and six days. So almost three years, four months, and three weeks, give or take. Oh, wow. How'd you end up here? Shipwreck? Balloon mishap? I was captured at sea by pirates, then abandoned here. Can you believe that? Real pirates? Yeah, we can believe it. We were actually chased here by Long John Silver. <gasps> no! Yes, do you know him? He's the one who captured me. Why, he's the gnarliest, crustiest, meanest, stinkiest pirate there ever was. Yeah, we have a treasure map, and he followed us all the way here to get it. Captain Flint's treasure? Yeah. You'll never find it. Oh, come on, man. Don't be a party pooper. Why would you say that? That treasure is cursed. Cursed. Cursed? Cursed. Cursed. Cursed? When are we going to catch a break? A curse? Oh, no. Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter five, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Cursed? Yes, how many times do I have to tell you? Cursed. Okay, well, can you explain? Like, what kind of curse? Like, whoever finds it will turn into a frog and then she has to find a charming prince to kiss before she turns into a pumpkin at midnight. Just spitballing here. No way, worse. Okay, so what is it? I tell you, anyone who seeks the treasure is cursed to a life of despair. What does that mean? Well, look at me. I thought I would find the treasure, and I got captured by pirates and left to eat grubs and worms. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. That doesn't necessarily mean there's a curse. Maybe you're just so lucky. Well, your friend the sea captain didn't seem so lucky either. That's true. Or Long John Silver. I mean, his ship just crashed. Yeah... And we got rained on by cannon fire, fell up to our necks in sinking sand, and you almost got gobbled up by an anteater. These are all good points, yes. See? Cursed. But wait, you said that anyone who looks for the treasure is cursed? Yes, indeed. Well, we already started looking, so I guess we're already cursed. Might as well keep going, am I right? Yeah, why not? Well, I've got nothing to lose. So let's keep going. Kersh-mersh, who cares? Let's get some treasure. <laughs> 
But maybe there was a curse because things were about to get worse. Which way should we go? How about that way? <laughs> ah, watch out! Ah, gotcha. These guys again? Psh, I'll just whip out my sword and do some fierce pointy jabs and they'll go running back to Long John Silver. Oops. It was scarier last time. Yeah, I haven't had much time to practice. Well, looks like we have all the swords, so you'll just do as we say. Got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what are we doing? Walking the plank? You need a ship to do that. You're gonna give us that treasure map. The treasure map? Never. Give it. No way. Come on. Nuh-uh. Please. Keep dreaming. Hand it over. I eat it before I give it to you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We'll do it then. Okay. <laughs> Mm. Delicious! How are they ever gonna get out of this one? I didn't think you'd actually do it! Neither did I. Yeah, me neither. That was next level. Uh. <laughs> oh man, how are we gonna find the treasure now? Spit it out! Never! <laughs> well then, you're coming with us. Where? To Long John Silver. No, not him! You know him? Yes, I'm his former prisoner. Great, I'm sure he'll be happy to see you again. Now chop chop, let's go. See, I told you my friend, we're cursed. The situation is not ideal, but we'll turn it around. You see, I'm an optimistic person. I look on the bright side of life, the sunny side, the... You were saying? Um, that everything's gonna be okay. And look on the bright side, turn lemons into lemonade, etc. Well, that's a nice outlook. It'll serve you well when you're all tied up and shot out of my cannon into the sea. Uh-oh. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter six. Here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. <clears throat> so you wanna tie us up and shoot us out of cannons into the sea. Just making sure I heard you correctly. Yes, but first, give me that treasure map. I know you have it. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! What's so funny? I'd love to give you the treasure map, but I can't. You can't? You can't, you can't. It's impossible. Then why is that? Why is that, why is that? <laughs> um, so she, uh, ate it. She ate it? Ate it, ate it. We were all like, what? What? Would you please quit repeating everything? Please quit repeating everything. Ah. Oh, forget it. Forget it, forget it. All right, so spit it out. Never. And I'll just have to make you spit it out. Uh-oh, she better watch out. And so Operation Get the Treasure Map began. First, they fed me terrible flavor combos like Tuna salad topped with hot fudge. Cake pops frosted with ranch dressing. Gross. No. Toothpaste. An orange juice. An orange juice. <laughs> Why? Why is that the worst taste in the world? <sighs> but the smorgasbord of yuckiness didn't do the trick, so they told me to spin around 27 times really fast. 27? That's oddly specific, but okay. No, smell this sock. Ugh. Wow, that is so mean. Finally, they set me afloat to let my seasickness take over. Oh, I could feel the grody food commingling with the old crusty treasure map in my belly. And the raft just kept bobbing and my head was spitting and, excuse me. They got the map. Your treasure map, sir. Oh, now it's all yucky, and that ink's all smudgy. That's just great. That's just great, that's just great. But meanwhile, I was just out there, floating, drifting further and further away. Hey, I can't swim. Hey, Captain Smallish, beardy guy. I'm sorry I didn't get your name, but please help. A ship, hey, maybe it's someone here to rescue us, yeah. I bet Selena Bard signaled for help, and then this ship full of good guys showed up to rescue us. Ooh, this is so exciting. Hey, down here. 
Look! Grab the rope! We'll pull you up! Yes, I knew it! We're saved! Ooh, I hope they have some ginger ale up there. Ooh. Hi, my name's Jimmy. Hello, my name is Captain Hooksy. Oh, well, I'm pleased to meet you, Captain. That's my friend's name, too. Anyway, you came just in the right time. The super scary pirate Long John Silver is over there on Skeleton Island. Did you say Skeleton Island? Yeah, scary name, right? <laughs> That's it, mateys! Land ho! Let's go get that treasure! Woohoo! But first, tie this one up. What? I thought you were here to rescue us. And cover her mouth. She's too yappy. No! Whoa, that was scary. Let's go on another adventure. Come on! Chapter 7, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. I never realized how much I love talking. Okay, so the ship turned out to be full of more baddies. Just my luck. We're here. Drop anchor. Uh, ow. Let's go get that treasure. Hello? Guys? Captain Hooksy? Anyone? Looks like the coast is clear. Now, I just gotta get untied. Oh no, this doesn't look good. Let's see what these pirates are up to. Okay, looks like Long John Silver's going treasure hunting. Now, where are Captain Hooksy and her cronies? Oh, there she is. She's hot on their trail. Oh, and poor Captain Smallish and Beardy Guy are still tied up. Oh, if I could get myself untied, I would go help them. What am I gonna do? I can't jump into the water like this. I'll sink like a stone. Hmm not the best idea I've ever had, but it'll have to do. Ah! Ooh, this is kind of fun, though. Eee! Ow! Ah. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh, the rope's come undone! Wow! That was incredible! Yeah! Now untie us, pretty please. You guys are never gonna believe this. There are new pirates here. I thought it was bad enough that Long John Silver's here. Now there's this Captain Hooksy to deal with. No, 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 no! Um, something you wanna share with the group? Captain Hooksy is the other pirate that captured me. You've been captured by pirates more than once? Yes. How did you leave that out of your bio? Well, it's a little embarrassing. I almost escaped Skeleton Island a couple of years ago. I built a boat and set sail for home. Then boom, Captain Hooksy caught me and made me work as her butler. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. But then I messed up her tea and she made me walk the plank. Always remember, two lumps of sugar, not one, two. That is so not cool. And so you wound up back here on Skeleton Island? Correct, see, told you I'm cursed. So what's she like, beyond the two lumps of sugar thing? <laughs> She's a real baddie. Almost as bad as Long John Silver. Maybe worse. But everyone says Long John Silver is the meanest, stinkiest pirate there ever was. Oh, she's mean all right and stinking. I once saw her make a flamingo walk the plank. I mean a flamingo. I mean, it just flew away, of course. But still, it was mean. Wow, that is so mean. Well, we have two choices. Get back to the ship and go home, no treasure, or we stick to the plan and find the gold. Maybe fight a few pirates along the way. I vote go home. I vote stay and find the treasure. Hmm, up to me with the deciding vote, huh? I say let's find the treasure. When will we ever get another chance to find real treasure? Ooh, this is so exciting. Okay, let's giddy up. Um, one problem. We don't have the map. All right. Hmm. Can you remember at all what it looked like? Any landmarks? No, there were drawings of trees, but there are trees everywhere. Think, think, there has to be something you remember. Something that can help us. There was some writing on it, a poem or something. 
Oh yeah, maybe that's a clue. It said, it always runs, but never leaves. Leaves? Trees? Like I said, there were a lot of trees on the map. Nah, that's not it. What always runs, but never leaves? A refrigerator? Perhaps a hamster in one of those wheels. Water runs? Is there a spout somewhere on the island? No, there's no running water here. If you need fresh water, you have to go to the waterfall. That's it. It must be buried near the waterfall. The water runs, but the waterfall never leaves. Can you lead the way? Sure. Let's go. And so we were off. Off to see the wonderful wizard of... Wait, no, different story. <laughs> we were off to find the treasure of Skeleton Island. Nay, Treasure Island. Kids, what do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter eight, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. We were on our way to the waterfall, the location of the buried treasure, hopefully, maybe. Fingers crossed. Ah! But something was telling us the pirates were on the same path. Are you okay? Yeah, I just fell into this hole here. Looks freshly dug. The pirates must have been here, digging for the treasure. Ugh. Whoa! You all right? Yes, I guess they were just being thorough. Well, guess they left no stone unturned, no hole undug. Give me a hand! Uh-oh, this doesn't sound good. Shh, hear that? Dig! I don't think it's here, Captain Hooksy. Just dig! Yes, ma'am. We better hide. We're not leaving till we've dug up every bit of dirt on this island. I'm going to find this treasure if it's the last thing I do. What is it? <gasps> tight. Thank you. But shh, who's there? No one. I don't think that's going to work. You? I thought I left you tied up on my ship. Well, I cannonballed myself back onto the island, so... Uh-oh, she better watch out. You've seen the map. You know where the treasure is, don't you? What? Me? <laughs> is that what you said? Or did you say Matt? Matt who? Yeah, I don't know anybody named Matt. Actually, my name is Matt. Oh, really? I've just been calling you Beardy Man. I didn't say Matt. I said map, as in treasure map. Oh, right, 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 right. Tell me where the treasure is, and I'll let you leave this island in one piece. OK, you drive a hard bargain. It's that way. All righty, mateys, let's go get some treasure. <coughs> Told you, cursed. Come on, I don't have all day. How are they ever going to get out of this one? Meet me at the waterfall. What? Shh, I said, meet me at the waterfall. Oh, I, I. Now march! We probably need a plan, don't we? So we think it's somewhere near this waterfall. Okay, start digging. Me? Well, I'm not digging. Well, I don't have a shovel. Use your hands. <sighs> okay. And so I dug, and I dug, and dug, and I dug, and I dug, and I dug! You dig? And then finally, I found something! Treasure? Hey, this looks just like the one the sea captain gave me. Open it, open it! Patience is a virtue. Open it! Aye, aye! Kids, what do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure, come on! Chapter nine, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. So I was just about to open the wooden chest that I found. You know, the one that looked like it probably, most likely, very possibly contained treasure. Yeah, that one. Anyway, so I, uh, -huh. uh, uh I'm waiting. Oh, yes, right, right, right. Uh, mm. All righty, here I go, opening this treasure chest now. Okay, now would be a really good time for my friends to come and save me. Uh. Oh no, this doesn't look good. What is the holdup? Move, I'll do it. Hello, ladies. Long John Silver is back. Dun, dun, dun. 
dun, dun, dun. That's right. And I'll just be taking that treasure. Okay, thanks. Bye. I don't think so, Long John. Ah! Oh, big sword. Ah! Oh, another big sword. Oh. Still, guys. Really? How long can two pirates sword fight? <sighs> Kinda getting bored over here. Wait a minute. If they're distracted, then maybe I could just sneak away with it. Ooh, this is so exciting. Okay, easy does it. A few more steps and I'll be in the clear. Oh, I was just about to escape the pirates and get the treasure. Amazing, right? And then I looked up and saw this. We're coming down to save you. No, shh, I'm about to make a clean getaway. What did she say? I don't know, what did you say? Uh, shh, thank you, but no thank you, I'm good. What? I, I think she said thank you, oh thank you. Wow, good. Aw, that's nice. Well, let's go, yippee ki yay buccaneers. Huh? Yeah. No! And just when I was about to sneak away from the pirates, once and for all, I gotta go and get rescued. Oh no, I hope they'll be okay. Well, what do we have here? You just wait till I get out of here. We're gonna teach you a lesson. Are ya? Yes, we will, old chap. Looks like I gotta rescue the rescuers. Okay, think Jimmy. Hey, pirates! No! Oh! It's deep! I can't see without my swim goggles! Quit splashing me! I didn't splash, you splashed! It's gone! My treasure is gone! Your treasure? It's my treasure! Come on, guys, hop up! We have to go while the getting's good! AKA, let's vamoose, scram, make like a tree and leaf, shake a leg, giddy up! Uh, Jimmy? Kids, what do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure, come on! Chapter 10, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Are you going somewhere? Us? No, why would we go anywhere? We love this island, it's paradise. Plus, you guys are so nice. Are you being sarcastic? No! I think you are. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because we stole your ship. No. Yep, look. <gasps> no! Oh no, 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 no! Told you we were cursed! Found it! <gasps> I found the treasure! Woohoo! It's mine! How are they ever gonna get out of this one? Hooks off! I saw it first! Nuh-uh! Yeah, huh? Paper, rock, scissors for it! Fine! Paper, rock, scissors, shoot! You can't use hook! It's not paper, rock, scissors, hook! One more! For real this time! Paper, rock, scissors! Hey, look over there! Where? Haha, <laughs> gotcha! I win! I win! No fair! Hey! It's just full of dirt and rocks! It was that girl! She stole my treasure! Let me at her! Yikes, scary, right? I would be frightened, but nope. Cause we hightailed it out of there while they were playing rock, paper, scissors. Made it to the ship, baby. Now, we just gotta set sail before the bad guys find out. Take that, bad guy. Pull up anchor, Captain! Aye, aye! And hoist the sails! Aye, aye! Now let's go! I said let's go! Did you pull the anchor? Yeah! Hoist the sails? Yeah! Why aren't we moving? No wind? I tell you we're cursed! Hello! Waiting for us? Ah! The pirates! Whoa! Ow! And I fell? I am cursed! I have the worst luck in the world! Um, Jimmy! What? We're moving! We are? We are! Ah! Woohoo! 
Bye bye, pirates. See you never. Yay! <laughs> woo, that was a close one. We did it, gang. And woo, what an adventure. Pirates, sinking sand, cannonballs, sword fights, buried treasure. Wait, the treasure! That was our one chance to get away, Jimmy. I know it's sad, but we had to leave it behind. Did we? I pulled the old classic switcheroo, put the rich stuff in my boots, and filled the treasure chest with dirt and rocks while the pirates weren't looking. Ah, amazing! Lovely! The diamonds were really poking my feet when we were running to the ship, but it was all worth it. Now let's just get home and try to live happily ever after, or something like that. Aye aye, Captain. Wait, that's me, I'm the captain. How much is there? I get 10%, remember? Oh, do you guys mind dropping me off in England? That would be lovely. And would you mind untying me? That was such a great ending. Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome to Sweets Cafe. He always has the best stories and he's an amazing chef. I can't wait to hear what he's gonna tell us about today. Welcome to Sweets Cafe. The tale of Jackie and the Jelly Bean Stalk. While Jackie was asleep, she heard a loud sound, like it came from the bottom of the earth. What was that? Jackie jumped out of bed and ran straight to the window, where she saw the most amazing thing, a giant beanstalk. Not just a regular beanstalk, a jelly beanstalk. Huh? Uh-oh. Hi, sweets. Hi, Rosie. It's Dreamy Beanie Soup Day. So many people, but nobody got their soup. You'll never believe what happened. I ran out of beans. It's been a while, but I guess we'll just have to wait. It'll be worth it. What happened to all the beans? All gone. I cooked soup all night. Giant barrels of soup. Well, what happened to all the soup you made? The giants ate it all. What giants? The giants that Jackie met in the sky after she climbed the giant magic jelly bean tree in her garden. I think you mean Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk. Oh, it's Jackie, not Jack. And it was a jelly beanstalk. Jelly beans are way better than regular old beans. Tell me the whole story. Are you ready? Let's go. Pound the table, clap your hands. Off we go to magic lands. Stir the batter, lick the spoon. Hold on tight, we'll be there soon. In Jackie's great family, everyone ate green, healthy food. There's Jackie's mom. <laughs> There's Jackie's dad. There's Jackie's baby sister. And there's Jackie, who, um, who likes to eat treats. Oh dear, Jackie, what are you doing? How many times do I have to tell you? Whipped cream is not lunch. Jackie always wanted to eat only treats. Treats in the morning, <laughs> treats for lunch, treats at dinner. She kind of looks like me. Yeah, that you mention it, she does look a little bit like you. Just before Dad went to the market to get bean soup for the whole family, Jackie surprised everyone and asked to go herself. Are you sure, Jackie? Absolutely sure. I think it's a great idea, Jackie. You really are a big girl already. Do you remember what to buy? I remember four bowls of the famous dreamy beanie soup from Chef Sweets. Great, here are our last five coins. It will be just enough for the soups. Rosie, what a lovely hot day. How about an ice cream cone? Or maybe an ice cream sundae? No candies for me today. Now I really have to go. And Jackie was happy and proud of herself. She also said no to Mr. Bonbon, bon, who showed her a wonderful fairy made of chocolate. No, Mr. Bonbon. Bon. And thank you, Mr. Bonbon. Bon. Mom sent me to buy only bean soup from Chef Sweets. Until eventually she met a mysterious man. Hello, little girl. <laughs> so, what would you like to buy? To buy? There's nothing here. Your stall's empty. Right you are! My stall has nothing! But I also have everything! All you need to do is dream and hope! Interesting. I want lots 
of colorful jelly beans, but not just a little bit, lots and lots. Hmm, give me a minute. Let me see. I think I had, oh, ta-da. There you go. It costs exactly five coins. You can pay at the register. Thank you and goodbye. What? But there's only three tiny beans here. Doesn't matter. I'll sell the beans to the next customer. The magic beans. Magic? Sorry? Did you say magic beans? Well, uh, yes, the beans. They just make every wish you want come true. That can't be. So for you, it really won't happen. Why? For it to work, you need to dream and hope. But it costs five coins. And my mom asked me to buy bean soup. Ah, uh, well, that's not a problem. There are three beans here for three wishes. Soup to eat, something sweet, and there's one more wish left. Give it to your mom. She'll be amazed by the charm. Okay. After the meeting with the mystery man, Jackie finally got to my food truck. Would you like a pinch of sour cream with your dreamy beanie soup? How could I not? You, you can't. can't. Hi, Jackie. I've already packed bowls of soup for your whole family. Today, I don't need to buy bean soup. Because with the money mom gave me, I bought three magic beans. They make your dreams come true. Magic beans? Are you sure? Can I see them? I know they just look like normal beans. You just have to dare and dream, sweets. Now, bye, Chef Sweets. Good luck with the magic beans. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jackie. How was the market? It was great. I didn't buy any ice cream at Mr. Sorbet's stall. Oh, I have a really, really good girl. Soup. But Jackie, where's the soup? The soup? Uh, you're not gonna believe it, Mom. Soon, we'll have lots and lots of soup. And I'll have candy. And you'll still have one special wish. Anything you want. Here we go. What are you talking about, Jackie? What did you do? What wish? You didn't buy bean soup from the wonderful chef sweet stall? No, I bought three beans. Magic beans. They make your wishes come true. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jackie, I asked for soup, but instead, what did you buy? But... Mom? Now get to bed. I don't want to hear another word from you. What a silly thing to do. So sad. <laughs> but hey, it's just the beginning. While Jackie was asleep, she heard a loud sound, like it came from the bottom of the earth. What was that? Jackie jumped out of bed and ran straight to the window, where she saw the most amazing thing, a giant beanstalk. Not just a regular beanstalk, a jelly beanstalk. Oh, wow. Jackie was so happy. They really were magic beans such a silly fool after all. Jackie picked more and more jelly beans, and then she kept on climbing and ate more and more yummy beans. She climbed and ate and climbed and ate some more until she was so high up that she went into a cloud. And when she came out of it, she saw a big door. Wow. I mean a huge door. Jackie wanted to know what was behind the door, but the handle was so high. I'll climb on the branch, take a big swing, and jump so high, I'll land on the handle. And that's exactly what Jackie did. She climbed, hung onto the branch, took a big swing, and jumped! Okay, okay, I'll get a gift. But not today. Only yesterday, you got a remote control car. I think I should leave. I don't want that anymore. My baby. A present, a present, I want a present. Give me a present, I want presents now. Little one, impossible. Uh-oh, the giants discovered Jackie. 
Yes, they did. Did they do anything to her? Well, little one was a baby. And when he saw Jackie... Oh! Yay! Little one's happy! Little one's happy! Ouch! A talking dog! So this is how Little One played with Jackie. She tried to run away, but Little One was so big. Jackie managed to sneak on and hide inside his shoe. Where did you go? Little doll, where'd you go? Come back, how are you? I'll find you, I'll find you. Hi, Rosie. Sweet. I'm so happy to see you. How did you know I needed help? How did I know? The whole town is shaking! Lots of earthquakes! Then I remembered the mysterious beans, and I thought I'd come by and check your garden. I'm so glad you found me, but what are we gonna do? We have to escape quickly! Uh-oh. So, this is the plan. In order to run away, we need the giants... The giants? ...to go to sleep! And for the giants to go to sleep, they need... They need... ...to be full! And what do giants love eating the most? Um... Soup! Dreamy beanie soup! Really? I hope so. I have no idea. But this is what I made. So we'll need a bit of luck. We'll need a lot of soup. With a pinch of sour cream. Don't worry. I've been cooking all night. I cooked and I cooked. And now we just have to hope for the best. Hang tight! Hello, giant family! I'm happy to inform you that your little one won an award! An award? Yes! He won the costume contest at school yesterday! He didn't tell you? No. You have such a talented boy, and so modest too! He dressed up as a bean, it was amazing! As a bean? Little one, I'm so proud of you! Anyway, come help me bring in the prize! It's bean soup? Bean soup? Bean soup! So, did they like your dreamy beanie soup? Well, I'm not sure liked is the right word. Oh no. I would say they... Loved the soup! They ate and ate and ate and ate! Yum! This is good! This is good! This is great! Green, healthy, and very yummy. And the sour cream... Is fantastic. Bean soup. Let's go. Mom, Jackie. Are you okay? We were so worried about you. Yes, Mom, I'm fine. Thanks to Sweets. He rescued me from the giant's house. Giants? I'm deciding that today, I want to taste real food. I want a bowl of dreamy beanie soup from Chef Sweets. <laughs> Chef Sweets, is there any more soup left? Not even a drop. But tomorrow morning, I'll reopen the stand and I will save you four wonderful bowls of dreamy beanie soup. Would you like a pinch of sour cream? How could we not? We, we could! could. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing story! <laughs> ooh, ooh, guess what that means? The bean delivery is here! Soon we'll have dreamy beanie soup for everyone! Oh, I just love a happy ending. That was so much fun, right? Make sure you subscribe so you never miss a story. Bye!